All right, guys, so I got to pee, but this is a shorty, so let's do this. All right, guys, so basically what I want to show you involves the mix window. So I just did command equals to switch to the mix window. Um, and basically it's the narrow mix view. So this is not the narrow mix view that I'm in right now. And this is the view that I tend to work in. I like it a little more because I can see more on my different faders. I don't really mind shifting back and forth with my mouse when I have a bigger session. Um, but some people like to work in the narrow mix view, so I figured I would show it to you guys. And I've also noticed a few clients recently using it. I've seen people using it a little more often recently. I don't know how new a uh, function it is in Pro Tools. It's kind of new to me, to be honest, but um, I've seen people use it more. I can see the use for it, so I figured I'd share it with you guys really quick. So basically what you can do is you can do Command Option M if you're on a Mac and it'll switch you into the narrow mix view. So now I could see this being really handy towards the end of my process, especially if I want to be able to see all of my faders on one screen without having to move back and forth to check to make sure like I'm not clipping, for example, see where all the levels are hitting, see what's going on. Um, so I could see it being really useful for that. Um, and that's basically it. You do Command Option M. Maybe someone can tell us in the comments what the Windows version would be, but I think maybe Control Alt M. Anyway, it's Command Option M on a Mac. Um, the other way you can access it, if you have Windows, for example, and aren't sure how it translates, um, is you can go View and then Narrow Mix, and that'll bring it down. So that's it, that's the whole idea there. And you know, in the Narrow Mix window, you can still do a lot of the stuff that you do in the Wider Mix view. Um, so you can open up plugins, stuff like that. You can hold Command and click on them to bypass them. You can, um, let's see, what else can you do? You can bring faders up and down still. You can adjust your colors for your tracks. You can add comments on your tracks. So a lot of the same stuff applies. It's just a little less of a detailed view, which I think is why, maybe I just like the other view because I'm used to it, to be honest, I don't know. Um, you can still change your input output panels. You can still adjust your, um, your actual panning. I like being able to see where my panning's hitting, um, but maybe that's just me being used to seeing it. So um, I do like to try to do things by ear when possible. So this might be a good way to try to work in in the future. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, the narrow mix view. So command option M switches you back and forth. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's mostly just things like seeing specific numbers for things like the panning um, that makes it different, seeing specific numbers for where your meters are hitting, stuff like that. Um, other than that, it's pretty similar. It's just a skinnier view. Uh, so yeah. That's it. I probably talked more than I needed to about it, so I'll just leave it there. Uh, let me know which way you like to work in, if you use the narrow mix view or if you use like the regular or the wide, I don't know how you would say it, the regular view. Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all of that stuff. And uh, if you do want access to additional content, I do have that Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. So please feel free to check that out. I really do appreciate my Patreon patrons. You guys really keep this channel going. So thank you. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you for watching. Okay. I'm really glad the weather's finally cooling down. Like all my friends back east are posting about like snow and ice and stuff. And I'm like, oh, it, the air kind of feels like fall again. And I'm really happy. I got a weighted blanket recently. I've just been chilling and not dying in the heat because I am really heat sensitive. I have a circulatory disorder. So I'm, it's, it's like bad how sensitive I am to the heat. Um, so yeah, that's my story. Cool. Well, so I have this van that I might have mentioned a couple times before-ish, but uh, it's been in the shop for over a month now, and they finally fixed it, and they called this morning and said it's ready, so I'm going to run away and go pick it up. So uh, I'm excited for that. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. <laughs>